from confusion matrix you can find this type of problem okay so there will be some values and you have to calculate the perception recall accuracy sensitivity and uh, balance accuracy detection rate and so on so the question is suppose you have 10,000 email in your mailbox uh, out of which 200 are spam the 200 are spam but the spam detection system detect 150 mail are spam out of which 50 are actually spam what is the perception recall accuracy okay uh, some cases may be only perception and recall will came and some cases will be uh, sensitivity specifier balance accuracy f1 score f beta score will also came okay so at first let me describe a little about confusion matrix so here it's a totally easy concept uh, suppose we design a AI model and this model just told us that uh, if we give some sample it will detect how many people are COVID-19 positive and how many people are COVID-19 negative so maybe this one is our model call okay model suppose prediction ti or model prediction okay this one and this one will be actually actual value okay this one is actual value so suppose uh, model uh, prediction it, it will be positive or negative and uh, covid ending positive or covid ending negative and um, actually value is uh, maybe true and false so for this case for this model so we can put here p also p n and n so in the first case our model predicted this guy is suffering from COVID-19 actually this guy also suffering from COVID-19 okay model prediction and actual below also same that's why we put here T and this case model prediction is COVID-19 negative okay but actual value is COVID-19 positive okay so we have to put here f this case model prediction covid-19 positive but actual value is covid-19 negative so that's why we put here false in this case machine predicted covid-19 negative okay and actual value also negative so we have to put here t okay so in this case it will be maybe a little confusing because uh, according to this concept t and p we should put here tp f and p we should put here fp and f or n we should put here fn but it's tn okay it is t and n you should put here tn but it's fn so for that reason if we use 0 and 1 it, it will be clear it about it okay let me draw another table so suppose this is 1 and 0 1 and 0 so as per previous one we have put a p for positive positive negative negative so now you don't think about mass you have to think that these things like this is 1 and this is 1 it's equal that's why we put a t this is t 0 and this is 0 equal we have to put t okay this is 0 and 1 it's not matching so f 0 and 1 matching is not matching f okay so i think that it will be better for understand okay so here this is our problems so uh, let me put it here this is uh, p positive positive negative and negative so massing is t massing 0 and 0 is t is not massing f is not massing f so here how you find 
what is TP, what is AP, what is TN and what is APN. So in case of TP, in case of TP, okay, TP means meshing call also positive and actual value also positive. So let's look there, S firm out of which 50 are actually S firm, 50 are actually S firm also and it's meshing detected also. That's why TP will be 50. Okay. Then, uh, then we have to find FP. What is FP? FP. Mashing predicted is positive. But actually it's not positive. Actually it's negative. That's why it's FP. So, to find FP, look, this is mashing predicted is 150. But actually this 150 total are not positive. There some things are actually negative. Okay, so that's why if we if we subtract from this one to TP, we will find FP. Okay, so FP equal to one fifty minus fifty equal to hundred. So we find FP equal to hundred. Then we have to find FN. Uh, let me write it. Let me write it here here fn fn look fn means machine predict it's negative but actually it is positive okay that's is fn so machine positive negative actually positive that means we have to subtract from this 200 so 200 minus machine predicted actually predicted tp tp means 50 so fn equal to 150 so let me put it there tp this me here value is 50 and fv fp is 100 and fn is 1 then what will be tn tn will be we have to add T tp plus fp plus fn then we have to um, subtract from total okay so tn will be tn will be total minus minus tp plus fp plus tn plus fn so the value will be 9550 so now we get all of this value for TP 15, FN 150, FP 100 and TN 9550. So we know the formula for perception. It's TP by TP plus FP. So we know our TP is 50. F to 50. Put here 50 by 50 plus FP. FP is 100. our value will be 0 0.33 so, so uh, or you can write here 33.33 percent is okay then what will be value for recall for recall uh, it's tp tp means 50 by 50 plus Fn, Fn is 150, 150, equal to, our value will be 0 0.25, or 25 percent, so this is uh, perception and recall, then for accuracy, for accuracy, okay, we find here, uh, Tp, so we find here this value okay. for accuracy let me put it here accuracy equal to tp plus tn by total so we find tp here tp equal to 50 plus tn equal to 
नाइन फाइव सॉरी फाइव जीरो बाई टोटल टोटल में टेन थाउजेंड सो और एंसर विल बी जीरो पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स देन यू हैव टू फाइंड द सेंसिटिविटी इट्स सेंसिटिविटी गोल टू टी पी बाई टी पी प्लस ए पेन लेट मी पुट एट टी पी टी पी फिफ्टी बाई फिफ्टी प्लस ए पेन एपनिस वन फिफ्टी सो इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव नाउ स्पेसिफायर टी एन टी एन इक्वल टू नाइन फाइव फाइव जीरो बाई नाइन फाइव फाइव जीरो प्लस एफ पी एफ पी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड हंड्रेड सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग विद एट दैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन नेक्स्ट बैलेंस एक्सी बैलेंस एक्सी एस पी मीन एस सी सो यार एस पी इज स्पेसिफायर एंड एस सी इज सेंसिटिविटी तो वी गट सेंसिटिविटी जिरो पॉइंट टू फाइव सो जिरो पॉइंट टू फाइव प्लस जिरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन बै टू सो उ गेट द बैलेंस एक्ुरेसि और एक्ुरेसि इक्वल टू जिरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू बैलेंस एक्ुरेसि सो हेयर बैलेंस एक्ुरेसि उल बी डिफरेंट फ्रम क्लासिफायर एक्ुरेसि सो नेक्स्ट इज डिटेक्शन रेट डिटेक्शन रेट इक्वल टू टीपी बाय एन हेयर एन इज टोटल उइ गेट टी टीपी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एंड टोटल इज टेन थाउजेंड सो आवर डिटेक्शन रेट उल बी जिरो पॉइंट जिरो जिरो फाइव देन यू टू फाइंड एफ बी टाइ स्कोर इन क्वेश्चन we notice that in the case of a beta score there will be some value for beta here value for beta is 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.5 okay so for a beta score if we put all the value equal to 1 plus 0. 0.5 the whole square into we get perception here our uh, perception value is was 0. 0.33 into our recall value was 0 0.25 by 0 0.5 whole square to you know perception value 0 0.33 plus 0 0.25 it was our perception value this is our recall value so we get the out is get the answer for this one a bit a score is uh, 1.28 okay so in the case of a one score it will be 2 into perception into recall you know perception 0 0.33 to recall 0 0.25 by 0 0.33 plus 0 0.25 we get the output uh, 0 0.2844 so in video description i put all of this uh, necessary document like pdf file for this solution you can uh, check thank you